just want to see this judgment in action. And I noticed that having no hair texture, the dreadlock, this hair look is better than trying to make it smooth or realistic because it's messy. At least if I don't use dreadlock texture, it still has a messy look to it. It's kind of better than making it smooth. You know, anyway. Lord Erimond, any protection you thought you had has apparently been withdrawn. You will die by my hand. Petty actions. Truth lies in the next world. Proof of forgiveness, divine forgiveness. <laughs> Another of the lingering pains of Adamantil worship, Sir Ruth is a senior warden of the Order. She was one of the many who slit the throat of another to bind a demon. She does not contest this. In fact, she surrendered to us. She requests no mercy. She wants the public justice of the headman's axe. You're very serious about this. Is more death the answer? There is no excuse for my actions. I murdered another of the Order. That blood marks me more than the Blight ever could. Accepting their actions while thralls of Corypheus, many treaties allow wardens any extreme if it opposes the Blight. I can't do it. I can't use the greater good to justify my crimes. As if it would create a future I could be a part of. It is wrong that this broke me. I've done worse with full sanction. I can do nothing except be an example of the cost. You feel your life is over. There's a place for such wardens. Sir Ruth, you'll go to the deep roads. Your death may be as quick as you choose. This sends no message. This is just... an end. Work. I didn't 
note it. Okay. They don't have some freaky looking eyebrows, right? So using whatever female one was in that position. So they do work, I think. I think I would have noticed my eyebrows look really stupid. of eyebrows I would need eight. Yeah, I do know which position I need to choose. Eight. I need to put it on the other girl. That's why I made a new one too. Because I had to see the eyebrow. There was no thing to tell me the go yeah they're just really small yeah. okay hop back in the picture They're dragons, I guess you could tell there's two dragons around a circle. Otherwise you yeah. get what?
Inquisitor. Hello, you. Oh, uh, I see. And nothing's happening. What do you need? Did you hear the news? Maker, I hope it's not me. Guess I'm starting in Priestizion. No, no, no. Okay, Fellmire. What was I doing? Sandra don't even care about a bunch of these. <sighs> 
Koopa Under Guy. Chief Morfran from the Avar throws goats. Let's see what the, if the ending of the quest gets approval. I know is that they're talking about the war table about oh though they've returned calling your troops have returned or whatever no I don't yes Fabelmeyer be at least level eight the end can reach level 12. <laughs> Increase Julian with this thing about focus trial. Specifically, oh yeah, you're supposed to kill 20 enemies during walk softly. You lose focus when you rest. Okay, I'm probably going to get cursed. Especially because specifically enemies will require, uh, have new abilities. Great. Right staff either. So I said a bunch of pride demons come out. Oh, we get to talk to him. Wait, did she just disappear? Oh, oh, I got Varric modded. He has blue eyes and uh, something. Well, his pajamas changed. That's what I had before is his pajamas. I never noticed he had an eye color. <sighs> I hope it didn't change its hair color, though, because it showed him with hair. Why? No, he still has yellow hair. have blue eyes though. Anyway, that's the only other mod I found for Eric is eye colors. Except somebody had his hair darker. I appreciate the warning, but you shouldn't have come yourself. What if the guild found out or what's his name? Are you worrying for me or for yourself? A little of column A, a little of column B. I am the expendable one, after all. Look. Oh, <laughs> Two don't worry, I'll protect you. We'll just have to... Well, this is a surprise. You're the Inquisitor, right? Bianca Davry, at your service. I take it you're a friend of Varix. Who isn't a friend of Varix? You have met him before, right? Your name is Bianca. It's a common name. 
Half the girls in the Merchants Guild are named Bianca. The other half are named Helga. I lucked out. Why do you both look like cats that got into the cream? She's taken a huge risk coming here herself. Maybe for both of us. You're such a worrier. There's a giant oh. hole in the sky. I think the Merchants Guild has bigger things to think about. Bianca's got a lead on where Corypheus got his red lyrium. The site of Bartrand's Folly, the tag Varg found, has been leaked. There's a deep roads entrance crawling with strange humans carting out red lyrium by the handful. Okay, why aren't his eyes vibrantly like everybody else? Who could have given away the Tig's location? There were a few people who knew. Hirelings from the expedition, a couple of close friends. How they found out isn't important. What matters is we know where they are now. How do we know they're not using multiple entrances to get to the Tig? Navigating the deep roads isn't like the surface. There's no accurate maps of the whole system, and there are cave-ins, dark spawn, lava floods. If you find a route that gets where you're going, you don't deviate. Trying to find another way could be deadly. You can get there from Orlais. It's a long way to the free marches. The deep roads are all connected. Or they used to be. Collapses and such. Some of them on purpose. They really are roads. They I spanned the Dwarven Empire, lie. went to every corner of the continent, maybe further. In theory, you can get to any Tig using the deep roads, but in practice, well, there's a reason nobody uses them anymore. We need to deal with this. As long as he has this source, Corypheus is that much more powerful. I couldn't agree more. I'll keep an eye on their operation. If you're interested in shutting it down, you've got my help. Try not to leave me waiting too long, Varric. I've got my own work to do, you know. Right. That's not going to be trouble at all. Let me know when you want to head to the entrance. Uh, it's not very blue. Or very vibrantly colored like everybody else. Multicolored. Oh, that bright purple. Purple is definitely the best looking color in this thing. Well, I haven't tried red or whatever. I know it's being romance still working. Well, I have to come to a dual order still. Oh, mods back in there. I got it. A pleasure. Everyone's individual mod in. Overkill the thing. If I dueled this Lord Otranto, I could force him to give up his betrothal with you. But you could be hurt. Dueling is a very precise sport. Men and women spend years perfecting their skills with a rapier. I couldn't bear to think of my family putting you in any further danger. Again. Let's speak later. Goodbye. Okay. Everything is sitting at where it was. Got all the moths back. Word is spreading that the Wardens were banished. 
There have been murmurs from some quarters about what might happen if another blight comes. Captain sent back sketches of the walls. Our experts say they look elven. Interesting. Does Corypheus send scholars to find something the elves buried? Or something buried with them? Inquisitor. Scout Harding. We're on the outskirts of Sarnia. This is what's left of the town. The lucky ones got out before the river froze over. The rest, penned in by Fade Rifts and Red Templars. We're the first friendly face they've seen in a long, long while. Are you all right? You look a little cold. Me? I, uh, well, it is a touch chilly. <laughs> My toes are freezing. <laughs> I'm sorry. You you didn't need to note that. <clears throat> I did, because I'd never heard that before. <laughs> Do you know why the Red Templars have come here? Can't tell you much. The Templars have outposts all through the hills. Our scouts haven't been able to get through. It probably has something to do with the local stone quarry, though. A lot of the workers went missing after the Red Templars moved in. How did an entire river freeze so quickly? It got really cold, really quickly. Sarnia relies on its river for everything. Trade, food. They weren't expecting this. Here I come to save the day. Again. That's why we love you. The Red Templars have been mounting frequent attacks. They won in Plus du Lyon. Bad. Let's get out there and take it back from them. She said, oh. Anybody that wants to go crazy is about. I've news, sir. What is it? Could prove useful, sir. I interest you, sir. What is it? Could prove useful, sir.
little mage coat. Oh, look, she can look like Vivian. So they both can now. Yeah. <laughs> No, you can't wear vanguard armor, it's just some basic shirt and pants thing. I swear there was one time I had to turn in a scorched brown armor, or whatever that color is. Anyway, who doesn't have a healing hat? Come, lad. Right. I have dried beans and radishes. 
Thank you, madam. Ah, the Inquisition. That was generous of you. I do what I can. I am partly to blame for all this. The Red Templars are here because, fool that I am, I sold them my family's quarry. They've taken every worker. We haven't seen them in weeks. And it's not enough. They keep coming, taking more people. And there's nothing I can do to stop them. What do you mean the Red Templars take workers? People just disappear. First those who worked the quarry, then they took people from their homes. I don't know why. I just prayed they'd leave me and my family alone. How could you have sold land to the Red Templars? I didn't know. I swear by Andrasre's buyer. They looked like knights, chevaliers. Such pretty speeches. They said they would reopen the quarry, bring employment and trade back to Sanya. We'd been struggling since the war began. How could I refuse? It was good for a time. People went to work, they were paid. Then they stopped coming home. After that, the Red Templars stopped pretending. Michel de Chivan at your service, your worship. I saw the Inquisition's banners from afar. Never expected oh, to see the herald of Andraste himself. <laughs> Sir Michel de Chivan, Empress Celine's champion? No longer a champion. No longer so. Michel de Chevan, I know your story. You were disgraced and banished from court for treachery. There's much more than that, but it ends the same way. What does it matter? Despite all, I have a strong arm, a stout heart, and I still serve Ole. <laughs> yeah, make a bond. <laughs> to look all fancy like so yeah let's make a bump are you here to guard the people as much as i can although this was not my original intention i hunt a demon this one calls itself imshael and has settled in suladin keep up in the hills imshael is free because i made a mistake i will see him destroyed now that the inquisition is here Perhaps the Red Templars who guard the keep can be routed. All I need is one chance. What's in Suladin Keep? Red Templars, so far as I can tell. Suladin is an elven fortress left to crumble. 
The locals always avoided it, believing it the haunt of ancient elven spirits. You know where the demon is? Why wait? I am but one man. Suladin Keep is guarded by Red Templars. While I would happily give my life for this, I would not give it in vain. I need to know more about Imshale. A desire demon, more cunning than anything I have encountered. And I have played the game. Imshale has roamed the land for some time. If anything, he will have grown in power. Why he is here in Ompris de Lyon, however, is anyone's guess. Perhaps he has gained the cooperation of the Red Templars, or vice versa. You could serve the Inquisition. We have use for strong arms and stout hearts. No, not until Imshale is defeated.
A rogue mage. that it came to this, but at least it is done. Yes, this was a great warrior, but not just a mage. And he's fighting with his eyes closed. Okay. Now, do you have anything to say to me? I trust all is well. No. That's enough for now. Another time, then. And how am I supposed to... somewhere okay exit menu uninstall mods go to black emporium install eyebrow number eight
I think. Or are the ladies eyebrows are smaller? I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Thank you for joining this video and goodbye.